You know what? Your images are amazing. They're beautiful. They're awesome. And I'm in love with them. But I wish your images didn't have that tree coming out the right side of your frame. I wish your images didn't have that man that's ruining your photo. I wish your image didn't have that pole. I wish your image didn't have that tree that's distracting my eye. I wish your image didn't have that spot. Hey there, this is Invasion. Welcome to Hacking the Pashto Part 1. I don't know whether there's going to be a part 2 or not, but I'm sure you'll forgive me. Now, have you ever used the patch tool before? Yes? No? I'm assuming you have. If you haven't, I'll talk about how to use the patch tool later in this tutorial. Now, if you have used the patch tool before, what do you use the patch tool for? For replacing stuff, right? For removing distractions. And you might have experienced some messy things with the patch tool and sometimes it totally messes it up. Sometimes it just doesn't give the right replacement. What do you do then? You move to the clone stamp tool, you move to the spot healing brush tool, you move to the con content aware fill, right? But before you move, I'm saying stop. Because today I have a tick, a tip, and I have a hack that will allow you to totally customize what are you replacing it with? What is the color of the thing that you're replacing it with? What's the, it's a total replacement, total customiza customization that will blow your mind. So without any further ado, let's get started. Let's hit it. <laughs> So here we are back in Photoshop with a stock image that I downloaded using the Pexels Photoshop plugin. And this is one of the most awesome plugins that I've ever used. And it's absolutely for free. This allows you to search for free stock photos from inside of Photoshop. Watch. So this is the plugin. I can type in anything I want. I can type in a landscape and it just gives me pictures of landscape. I can, if I just click it, it will just import it as a layer inside of Photoshop and it's absolutely for free. If you want to know more about the plugin, how to get it, how to download it, how to put it into Photoshop. Shop. I made a video about it. You can check it right here or here. I, I link it up in the description also. Now, here's the thing. I know I'm sidetracked, okay? But let's get to the topic. Now, let's cut to the chase and let's go back to the patch tool hack. Now, how does the patch tool work? Now, patch tool is useful for replacing stuff. It's useful for removing distractions, removing any stuff that you want. So in this image, suppose I want to remove the logo. So how do we go about it? So first of all, you should always remember that when, whenever you do removing stuff, adding stuff, cloning stuff, you should always make a copy of the layer because you don't want to harm the original file. To make a copy, just drag it right here and drop it here. And other way of making copy is to press Ctrl J or Command J if you use if you're using a Mac. Now let's zoom in. And suppose I want to remove this logo. Now first thing that you gotta do, you gotta select the patch tool. Now what is the patch tool? So this is the patch tool. This is what it looks like. Now, if you still cannot see the patch tool, right click and select the patch tool. If it's spot healing selected, right click and select the patch tool. It's just in that same group, just below the eyedropper tool. Now just select this area, make a rough selection of this area, the area that you want to remove. Now once you've made the selection, just drag this area to the place where you want to replace the area with. So suppose this is what you want to replace it with now. This has made a pretty good replacement, but if you deselect that, deselect that, Control D or Command D if you're using a Mac, it still doesn't look real. Watch. The gradient is coming in a straight line, but then suddenly it's taking a turn, making a semicircle. Ah, it's not looking real. So what do you do now? Let's go back. Let's do that again. Now this time, here comes the hack. Now this time when you select the patch tool, make sure, let's deselect that. Make, make sure that content aware is selected. This is one of the tools that you have ignored all these years I know and some of you guys might be saying hey I have used the content aware tool and it just does not work let me tell you something the magic is still in the black bag and I've not taken it out yet watch what happens now content aware selected now let's make a selection and now just let's replace this let's see what happens now now it's done a pretty really bad selection what do we do now have you ever played with these numbers? Now this is the real trick, the real secret. Play with these numbers, okay? One number might not be perfect for you, but it is the magic. Now watch, watch what happens when I play with this number. This doesn't seem right, this doesn't seem right, this doesn't seem right. Okay, what about two? What about three? No, it's getting worse. 
Let, let's keep it at one. It's looking great. Now let's play with colors. Whoa! Watch! Watch! Control D, watch! Look at this! This is so amazing! Now it's not so much refined but it's much better than what we did previously and I just cannot blame the crow for disrupting the audio. Anyway, let's move on to our next example. So the tip here is play with these numbers. Now I have to shoot the crow so I need to cut right here. Wait. I don't know every time that crow ruins my videos. Anyway, let's move on to the next example. So this is the second example that I wanted to show you. And this is one of the images that I clicked. This is not a stock photo. I clicked, I, I clicked it. Okay, let's, what if you want to remove this boat, this boat? The boat in the center is looking so amazing that I don't want the other boats to disrupt the photo. So let's move in and let's try the patch tool. With the, uh, with the normal one. So normal one sometimes does a pretty good job. 99% of the time, it will do the job for you. It will do, as, uh, do an amazing job for you. But if you want accurate result, you should use content aware with those numbers. It's amazing. Now let's go ahead and do that with normal. That's pretty good. That's not bad. But watch, these colors are not matching so much with these. But you can play, this is a pretty decent job. Let's not do it. Let's not ruin it. Okay, let's move on to this boat. Let's see how the normal one functions. So first thing is, you should always work with normal. Only when the normal doesn't work, only when the normal doesn't give you the results that you desire, then you go to the content aware and play with those numbers. Okay? Now let's select this bow and let's replace it with this. Now watch, now watch. When I deselect this, it's received a little bit of halo effect. It, it's a little bit brighter here. It's not looking realistic. Now we should go back and we should select the content aware. Now let's make this selection. Uh, I'm waiting. That's been a pretty good selection. These numbers are great. These numbers have set to the right uh, values. Okay, so two is not good. One is good. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's play with the colors. What's happening with five? It's good. I think four would be amazing. Yeah, it works. No, no, five was much better, I think. Let's see. Yeah, pretty good. We can go up to seven. Let's see what happens. Yeah, not bad. So that was the thing that I wanted to show you. You can always play with these numbers to find out which one works for you. Okay, it doesn't always work, but when it works, it works just awesome. Now, now here comes the most challenging example ever. So this is one of the photos that I clicked and this tree just completely ruined this image. I just wish there wasn't a tree right here and I, I couldn't remove it because that was the only balcony I could take this picture with and that balcony had this tree. So how do we remove this? Now we cannot remove this using the patch tool right now because the tree is so big. What should we replace it with? We, we have nothing to replace it with and we don't have such a big area of the sea that we can replace it with. So what do we do first? First, let's simply select the tree using the polygonal lasso tool. Let's simply select the tree. But before we do that, let's make a copy of this layer. So let's go ahead and select the tree. You don't have to be perfect with the selection, just a rough selection of the tree. Okay. All right. Looks amazing. Awesome. Now let's go to edit, fill, make sure content aware is selected. Click OK. Watch what happens. Sometimes it does a wonderful job, sometimes it ruins it. Now, it has done a pretty good job, not so amazing. Let's deselect that, Control or Command D. So it's done a pretty good job, but it has replaced this area with this. Now what we have to do, now the patch tool comes to use. So let's select the patch tool. You want to replace this area. Okay, let's see what happens. What if you want to replace it with this just just try let's just let's try to replace this area with at least we can get rid of a little of this area watch what happens Con content aware is selected okay so we can play with the numbers if we like wow wow this is so amazing isn't this so you can always play with structure and see what's happening let's play what's up with three is it looking good no two is looking good um, it's taking time to make changes to this. Two is not bad, but one was awesome. Let's watch what happens with one. 
Yep, it looks amazing. Let's watch the colors. How does 10 look? It looks good. Seven was the best. The first one, I don't know why. Sometimes the first one is always the best and then we go ahead and fiddle with it and okay. So this is the best. So let's deselect that. The only thing that we need to correct here is this one and this is easy to correct. Now select the normal one again and just uh, replace this with something like this. And we're good. Now watch what a big tree was there and we have removed it completely. Now this doesn't look completely, you know, uh, refined, but if we clear it up, if we add a little bit of blur, I'm sure this will be cleared. So my point was to introduce you to these two numbers, these two options, the structure and the color. And my point was to show you that they can work in your favor. Content aware is really amazing. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope this video helped you. And if it did, you, you have to subscribe. There's no option. There's no second option about it. You have to subscribe. And if it helped you superbly, share it. And if it helped you awesome, awesome, awesomely, Make sure you like the video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.